It's all very well going after that metal face Mekon. But shouldn't we have some kind of plan? How about checking out Colony 6? Colony 6? The only other Homs colony left. Colony 6 is on the way to Sword Valley, where there's supposed to be a Mekon base. If that's where they came from, maybe the people in Colony 6 saw something. Good point. They might even know something about that metal face Mekon. So, we go past the Magmel ruins and up through Tefra Cave. Then we should arrive at the Bionis Knee. Yeah. And if we can get to the Knee, it ain't far to Colony 6, right? Sounds like a plan. Let's head to Colony 6. Hello everyone, I am the MXG player, and welcome back to Xenoblade Chronicles. Uh, last time, uh, there was a Mechon invasion in Colony 9, a lot of people were taken, and Fiora was killed. So yeah, now we're off to take the fight to the Mechon. Uh, hold on a sec. Uh, don't have that much, so okay. So I actually want to head back once again. I keep pressing the control stick. That's not how running works. I don't. I'm so used to Xenoblade X. I'm sorry. So the people with the exclamation marks above their head usually indicates a side quest. Shops. Buying items, uh, buy weapons, caps, torsos, gloves, uh, bottoms and shoes, and buy books that'll uh, teach certain characters new arts. But yes, we are low on funds. Oh wait, well, didn't I have didn't I have some junk I could have sold? Okay, I do. I'm gonna go ahead and sell all of this. Okay. Uh, nope. Okay, so. We just saw a flashback of uh, a young Shulk alongside some sort of. Well, in front of the Minato, about 14 years ago. So, yeah. And now we're on our way to the Bionis Knee. Uh, past the Tefra Cave. Into, uh... And find our way into Colony 6. So, yeah. We got, we got our plan. So, let's get a move on. Okay, so I did. I think I made sort of a mistake. I think, uh, reviewing the footage, I think it's the blue ones that are weaker than the brown. And then there are also black ones, which are like the weakest ones, so don't even bother with those. Unless you're looking for materials in which uh, certain monsters draw for side quests, then by all means go for it. Okay, and when you saw at the beginning about that gem crafting, you can craft gems that can go on to uh, weapons. So, which will give you, uh, like, better attack, better agility, defense, all sorts of things. But for right now, we're just gonna move on ahead. Collect some collectibles on the way. Alright. Hey, sir. Let me talk to you. Defense yeah. Force Soldier. Going into the cave, can you kill a willow bunny for me? They attack in packs, uh, so 
can be quite a nuisance. Let's go ahead and do that. Oh yeah, if you still see an exclamation mark over their head, that means they have another side yes. quest for you. Singing brogs. Why not? Get a lot of money for yeah. doing this. Magma lizards. Alright. Well, we got all that done. Now let's move on. Back in Tepper Cave. And you'll see an exclamation mark uh, on your mini map. And you'll see an exclamation mark hovering over the enemy, which is our target. Let's go ahead and take you down. Quest complete. Got a thousand uh, credits off that. Pretty good. I'll probably do like all of the uh, side quest things off screen. Because I just want to show like the main story. Or some, um, some uh, other content. Interesting things to show about the game. But for right now, I just want to move on. Okay, singing. Two singing bros right here. Let's go for it. Okay, so I was right. Uh, blue is weaker than brown. So, I was wrong, okay? I corrected myself. Oh, we aggroed a lot of enemies. Good thing they're they're all weak. They're all weak. Okay, that one's aggroed. All right, let's go ahead and take care of you. There we go. Alright, seeing Brogs are down. 1500 credits, not bad. Alright. Collect these treasure chests. Alright. We see another exclamation mark up ahead. Let's go ahead and fight you. I I would like some uh, experience. That's why I'm doing all this. And we got two silver chests. Nice. A bright big and a kneecap rock. Alright, what do you need? Uh oh. Oh, you're just in time. I think my partner went to the check out the cylinder hangar. I'm worried he's not back yet. That doesn't sound good. Yep. Didn't you see strange machines there when the Mechon attacked? I'm really worried. Can you take a look for me? Alright. Let's do it. We get uh, two pieces of equipment, 50 EXP, and 800 credits. Oh, he's got another quest for us. Wait, hear me out. Oh, I forgot. Okay. I'm just skipping through all this text, okay? Uh, we need three pieces of arachnal silk from worker arachno. We have not encountered those yet, those are further up ahead. Let's do it. We get 100 EXP on that. Not bad. Yeah. 
This door. It was closed when we came past before. But it's open now. Maybe it was programmed to open up in case of mech on emergency. The way to the bionic knees just ahead. You ready? Yeah. Let's go. Convenient. But first, got some male lizards to take care of. Wow. <laughs> the battle music doesn't even initiate. Okay, there, there's the battle music. Quest complete. Before we head on, I actually want to go to the cylinder hangar and just go ahead and complete that request that that soldier you know, asked us to do. So, we're going to go ahead and do that. I know I said I wanted to move on, but... <laughs> uh... You know, I'm here, so I might as well just go for it. Hey, buddy. Oh. Why is he... Worried about me. He's always worrying about something or other. You see, I'm fine. Ain't nothing wrong here. There's no point in reporting back. He can just carry on worrying. Anyway, thanks for coming here. Take this. Quest complete. Oh, he's got a quest for us. Oh no, what am I gonna do? I was supposed to make sure I kept it safe. That's it. I must have dropped it in Tipper Cave. That pendant was really important, and I went and lost it. I've looked everywhere, but I can't find it. My girlfriend gave it to me for luck when I joined the force. I think it's coming back to me. It was near, uh, Vilia Lake in Tephra Cave, and rocks started falling. I rushed out in a hurry. I think I dropped it somewhere near the block path. Sorry to ask, but could you go and look for it for me? Sure, why not? Thank you. Now let's move on. Yeah. So now we can move on. Lizards are back. Escape Pod Bay. Oh, hi. Will you listen to what I have to say? Defense Force's mission is never ending. Gathering supplies for Colony 9 is an important job, but we just can't get a hold of the things we need. Can you help us get the kneecap rocks we need to make repairs? I have one kneecap rock. I'm missing one. Let's go ahead and do this. Alright. What else do you got? It's a bit of a cheek, but I need your help again. I want two bright figs. I got him! Alright! <laughs> Alright, got 1500 credits from that. Oh, hi. What else do you got? Three broken printers from Crabbles and Tepper Cave. Let's go ahead and do that. Man, how many. How many requests do you have? Okay, we need Brog smelling salts from Noble Brog. Okay, we're done here. <laughs> oh wow, look at all those exclamation marks. An ether lamp. Don't traders use these things as guideposts? Yeah. We can follow them to the Bionis Knee. Okay. But if armed traders need guideposts, it must be pretty dangerous in here. Let's keep our wits about us. 
Definitely. Good to know. Okay, leaf mystery. Okay. To her cavern. And, ooh, some enemies over there that we can take out. And these are ether deposits. Harvest crystals that are used for the uh, gem, gem creation that was introduced. Desert Crabble. Wait, did I aggro a special enemy? Where is he? Where's the enemy? Wait, was that it? Oh! <laughs> I even... Once again, I... I didn't even realize that I accidentally aggroed a special enemy. Okay. Still, love this song. There we go. Gold chest. Oh, we opened a brown chest. What do we got? Graph gauntlet, front armor. Broken pincer. Broken pincer. Quest complete. All right. Unintentional, but hey, we got the job done. Noble Brog. Let's go ahead and take you out. Alright. Yep. Okay, what did you drop? Another quest complete. Alright. Doing good when it comes to quests. Let's keep moving forward. Ooh, we got more enemies. Oh, these ones actually can uh, hear you since they have like a volume symbol on their. where the health is. Worker arachnos. It's a jaw. It's a jaw. Alright. Alright. Awesome. Awesome. I got one arachno silk from now all that. Okay, so what did I get? Front armor that'll benefit you more, so we'll give that to you. Let the top, give that to you. I hear my cat. Uh, that'll definitely benefit you more. 
And your shoes. I'll give that to Shulk. Alright. What the? Look at the emblem. They're traders from Colony 6. No wonder it's been so long since the last delivery. Ryan, their injuries. They were made by no Mekon. It was probably the monsters that live here. Man, that's grim. I don't want to go like this. Not even killed by Mekon, just some monsters in a cave. They probably had families. Children, maybe. It wouldn't surprise me. But why'd you say that? Oh, no reason. Ryan, shouldn't we return them to the Bionis? Huh? Oh, right. What's born from the Bionis is returned to the Bionis. That's the way of the Homs. That was way harder than I thought it'd be. I'm just about ready to collapse. Let's take a rest. If the monsters in here killed all these traitors, we need to be at our best. I'm wide awake, so I'll take first watch. Thanks, man. The nap will do me good. Shulk, my turn. Awake already? Didn't sleep a wink. Oh, I still feel like I just did one of Vanguard's drills. <sighs> Hey, why do you think the Mekon attacked? Are they just food to them? Or what, did we do something wrong? It sort of reminds me of the battle between the Bionis and the Mekonis. I wonder if it's anything to do with that. Well, it's hard to believe that living things are just a source of energy for machines. There has to be another reason. A Mekon killed Fiora. Yeah. You know what? I'll never forgive them. I don't care what their reason is. Hmm. When it happened, the Monado showed me that Fiora was in danger, but I couldn't save her. It's not your fault. Just because the Monado showed you some future, that don't mean you could do anything about it. You did great. You fought them off. I couldn't have done that. You know, I've been thinking about it. Why you can use the Monado of me. Dixon told me. You're a survivor from the Monado expedition team that went out 14 years ago. There was a blizzard or something, and your mum and dad died. And then Dixon found you and brought you back. That sounds right. I was pretty young, so I don't really remember anything. Is that why you do it? Are you always helping Dixon with his research and trying to figure out the Monado? Maybe. Part of me does see it as something to remind me of my mum and dad. But mainly, if it really is the sword that the Bionis used to kill the Mekonis, like in the legend, I want to work out its secret. That's the real reason. I've got it. You were chosen by the Monado. What? Chosen? Don't you see? Not even Dumban can handle it. It ain't chance that you can and he can't. <sighs> I'll take the next watch. You get some rest. Okay, I'll try. Night ride. Do you wish to change it?
the future. <sighs> it is every man's desire to change the future. Is that not so? Even if everything has been predestined, will you not oppose it? I. The Monado is now in your hands. The Monado will grow with you. If you can find the true Monado, the future is yours. The true Monado? Shulk! Shulk! Brian! Awakening. Alright. Plenty of worker erectiles, although they don't drop anything, which really sucks. You have a director. This guy off. Toppled. And that should do it. I'm sorry, Brian. Don't worry about it. It looked like you were having a nightmare. Really? The Monado is now in your hands. The Monado will grow with you. If you can find the true Monado, the future is yours. The true Monado? Was I dreaming? What's with you? We better get a move on. Very cryptic indeed. Oh boy. What on Bionis are those? Monsters egg sacs, I think. But it looks like there are Mechon parts inside as well. Man, what kind of monsters are they? Probably some type of Arachno. Brian, get back! Brian! No. If that vision comes true, then Brian, I've got to find him. Well, that escalated quickly. Okay. If you don't want to be noticed by these guys, then you just have to walk slowly. Do not run, otherwise that will aggro them. Ugh. Okay, I'll wait till I'm right about here. Okay, go. Oh wait, those are enemies that... They drop uh, arachno silk. But I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna walk on by. Otherwise, they'll hatch. I think we're good. Alright. I 
You think just don't give up, do ya? Right! I've got to hurry. If I can get up there, I should be able to reach it. Alright, climbable walls. Man, this place is sort of hard on the eyes. Good boy. Okay. Yeah, yeah. You know what's good about climbing in this game? There's no stamina gauge like in Skyward Sword, so <laughs> you don't have to worry about running out or falling. Yeah, I hate spiders. <laughs> so I'll be very happy to take these things down. Where are you? Brian! Brian! There's too many of them! I killed one! Alright, let's do this. Shield. Party can have vision during battle. The party will be able to see in advance the danger that awaits. So usually, if your party members are about to go down, or they're about to take heavy damage. Tag. There's also the time. Alright, so you could warn them. Shield. Alright, that one's aiming for Ryan. Alright, we changed it by using the Monado. Okay, let's try that again. Oh, wrong move. Alright, so while it's down, we can hurry up and take it out. Oh, it's aiming for me. attack. And there it is. Looks like the Monado works for more than just Mechon. I gotta say, that's pretty awesome. Right. I just realized something. Huh? The future I see. It isn't set. I think it's more like a warning. A warning? Yeah. A warning about what will happen. What will happen if I don't do anything? 
or if I can't do anything, so I can use this power to change the future. And that's exactly what I intend to do. You've got my vote. And if you really can do that, I think Fiora would have liked it too. Yeah. Right, let's get moving. We're nearly at the Bionis Me. Queen's gut flew in. That's pretty gross. Alright. There's skill trees. Not gonna bother with this on screen. The arts that we learned. We're able to level up our arts depending on uh, our AP. So... Ryan's got a lot of arts. So do I. And for Shokes, you can level up the Monado arts, but they take a lot more uh, AP. So... Like I said, I'll be I'll be doing all of that off screen. So we're almost at the end of this dungeon. Sometimes I see this, I never get used to it. On the other side, there's clouds. Yep. It's our enemy. Makonis. Alright, so, uh, thank you all so much for watching this episode of Xenoblade Chronicles. I've been the MXG player, tell me what you guys thought, and I will see you guys next time.